Alex, welcome. Just talk me through the big challenges facing the biotech industry at the moment. So besides the obvious challenges of the economic downturn, funding rounds being a bit more challenging, I think the, the bigger picture of what we are really seeing, seeing as a challenge is that the way we're currently doing biotech drug development and the way we're focusing our efforts in treating diseases is very reactive. Mm -hmm. So healthcare is not really healthcare. It's more sick care. Once you have a symptom, you kind of get it treated. And that leads to a lot of inefficiencies. Um, so what we really tried to do is becoming more proactive and um, by that really preventing the, the huge cost burden that comes as we're treating diseases by their symptoms. What are the ways to become proactive? So um, that, is, that is the big challenge really because right now the healthcare system are not designed to be proactive. And in order to do that, we actually need to generate a lot more data to demonstrate that being proactive actually makes a difference. And also the ways we can be proactive, um, we need to really target the underlying causes of disease rather than the symptoms. So what we need to do is really identify um, the right patients before they actually develop the diseases. So pre-symptomatically, we need to do more screening. Uh, we're doing that in cancer already. Um, and I think that, that's kind of the, the role model of what we need to follow with a lot of the different other age-related and chronic diseases, where we need to be screening and identifying um, markers that can suggest that someone is on their trajectory to developing a disease and interact, uh, interfere then with the right treatments. And those treatments still need to be developed. Where are the opportunities for investment? So that's exactly what we are currently focusing on. So we're developing therapeutics that are targeting the underlying biology of aging, which is a main risk factor and probably the main cause of the development of age-related chronic diseases. So we are looking at the biology of aging and the sense of mechanisms that are um, associated with the aging process. And we want to interfere with these mechanisms so that we can actually prevent the development of disease. Um, one example would be um, developing drugs that can deal with protein aggregates. So protein aggregates, we all know that about Alzheimer's disease, um, they, they lead to cellular dysfunction. And if we can deal with the protein aggregates, we can actually prevent the development of Alzheimer's disease. Um, so that's, that's one of the examples. What do you see as the future of medicine? Um, so the future of medicine will be exactly that. I envision that um, people will, while they're still healthy, mm -hmm. go and see their physicians, get a full checkup, get their genetic background checked, but also all of their biomarkers associated with lifestyle, nutrition, and Based on those biomarkers, physicians will be able to tell where they are on the trajectory of developing certain diseases. And there will be treatments available that can be applied before someone develops a symptom and really keep people healthy. Alex, thank you so much.